Okay, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to create a project with multiple views. To do that, we need to use a split pane, you know. So, a split pane will add it to the app, at least to the root, and then add a page inside it, which with a main menu, uh, the main menu with the side menu. And then this is the side menu that we add. We want it to have a title and content and the menu and the list. And then in the list, we'll add a few items based on the pages that we have. And then uh, these are the various pages that we're also adding. They are based on the tabs, you know, uh, home and then uh, services so if we run this application now we're going to see two sides of your user interface one being the menu and the other being the main content area this is usually used for applications for desktop with bigger screens where for example you say that you want your menu to appear but you also want your main menu content to appear on the screen just like what we are currently seeing here within the wireframing application this is like a split pane application because it's split we have some components here uh, they're not necessarily a menu but some other navigation things and also this side of the screen so if you run the application here we have your welcome which is the home page services and contact us as you can see contact us as a back it goes to the home page services as a back button goes to the home page now if you resize this for mobile application you can see that the menu gets hidden and then the navigation menu appears so it's basically meaning that we want our split pane to only work on larger devices. So there it is. Contact us back. Services back. You know. So however, on small devices, it just shows like this. Services and then contact us. So how do we create this with the wireframe application? We go to the app wizard and say split pane so this is a new project that has been added and this is producing the same things that is here and then what we do in, remember in the previous instances we had main content now we have main split and then we say that the content it is the main page and then the site with is 346 and this should be shown only work when it's lg and then what we do then is to add the various other pages like we usually do and then what we do we download our custom component guide custom component guide uh, custom view guide or abstract designer guide it tells us how we're going to create the application using the custom view you know and then what we can do is also just uh, back up our project uh, let's name this split pane project so all in pitch index we leave that one blank and then uh, we just export download our wireframe you know so that we can have a backup for it this is the JSON content uh, and then we can upload it here like rumble this is useful when you want to transfer a wireframe to someone else to continue working with it so this is how we do it here so um the code that you see here is code that has been written based on the abstract designer guide you know and it produces the same thing that you see here the project is split pane project okay then that's it so i've just shown you how to create a split pane project with the wireframing application uh, if you want to do your dashboards and all sorts of things then you can follow this approach 
uh, desktop applications, you know, uh, like for example, our demo project, GitHub. Uh, GitHub, I'm going to open our demo project so that you can see um, repositories. Um, that's a Tesla Ionic. Let's open it. We have deployed this thing on a pre hosting application called Vessel. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, this has a lot and lot of pages. So every page is loaded into application the first time so that the application is faster uh, when you use it. So as you can see, this is a typical split pane application that we have created on the demo that is showcasing all the components in our Citaso Ionic framework. And this, most of it is basically built with code. So you can reproduce the same thing uh, using the approach that I've shown you uh, by going to the split pane application and then doing the custom view uh, guide and downloading it and making sure that it works in relation to the various sections that you have here. All right then, that's all for today. That's all for now. <laughs> all right, uh, happy coding.